I was scared to the depths of my soul that day because he was very, very sick and he could have died right there in her arms. A few hours after he was born, he was breathing really loudly. What they determined at our local hospital was that um, they thought he had just breathed in some fluid while he was born. They did do a CT scan of his head while he was in our local hospital, and they did not see anything that they thought was alarming. And so they went ahead and after that first week sent us home. Unfortunately, at home, Noah continually got worse. He would sleep for about 22 or 23 hours a day. He was in his car seat and he went into respiratory distress and stopped breathing altogether. So I had to swoop him out of the car seat and I, right on our dining room table, did resuscitative breathing on him. And once he started crying, I knew he was breathing. And so uh, that was what got us our ambulance ride to our local hospital. And that's when they recommended to us that he be taken down to the university. We knew he needed to be seen by doctors, but we didn't really know how bad it was. A very, very scary day, um, something you'll never forget. When we arrived at the university, he was admitted right away to the pediatric ICU. And interestingly, one of the things that they had asked for was a CT scan. And we told them, well, he already has had that done at our local hospital. It was within minutes of seeing that scan that Noah's ENT was able to right away see what the problem was. And it was a birth defect he was born with called congenital nasal piriform aperture stenosis. When I was a baby, I was um, breathing through my mouth instead of my nose. When they aren't able to take in enough oxygen through their nasal passages, it's considered an extreme medical emergency. So when he was three weeks old, he had his first surgery on his nose where uh, Dr. Kakmarinski carefully drilled away little millimeters worth of bone so that um, she could open up his airway. He really started to um, turn the corner and become a much healthier, happy baby. It's been amazing to see nine years later what a difference it has made by being in the right place and having the right education on it. Thank you for treating my little boy like he was your own and thank you for being patient with us as we asked a million questions. It's nothing short of miracles that are being performed here every day. It's world-class facility and world-class people that make this place wonderful.